Graph Transformations The techniques discussed here work on functions in general and no prior knowledge of graphs is assumed, though it may be helpful to be familiar with some basic graphs, like the graphs of the squaring function, the square root function, the exponential function, and the logarithm function. In this lesson, we will discuss how to shift, stretch, and flip graphs. Let's begin with the graph of y equals x squared. Five key points are labeled in the graph at the right. What happens when we subtract 3 from the function? To get the y values for the red graph, we begin by squaring the x value to get the values in the middle column, then subtract 3 from each to get the values in the right column. This decreases each y value by 3. Graphically, this moves each point down 3. The red graph is the black graph shifted down 3. Similarly, adding 2 to x squared will increase the y value by 2. The blue graph is shifted up 2. What happens when we multiply by 2? In this case, the y values in the middle column are doubled to get the values in the right column. This has the effect of making the graph twice as tall. Each red dot has a y value twice the value of the corresponding black dot. A negative sign on the function will change the y values from positive to negative. This graph will point downward rather than upward. Transformations in the x direction have an unusual twist. Let's examine what happens when we subtract 2 inside the parentheses before we square. Once we have the value for x minus 2, the middle column numbers will be squared to get the y values. The blue inputs of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 still produce the same squared values. The transformation, however, happens before we square. That is, the transformation happens to the input, the x value. We are interested in finding the x values that lead to the inputs of the squaring function. We work backward from the middle column by adding 2 to reveal the original x values. When x is 0, x minus 2 is negative 2 and the squared value is 4. The black dot at negative 2 comma 4 has been shifted to the right. Subtraction inside the parentheses moves horizontally, which makes sense the changes inside the parentheses with the x, but it moves opposite to what we expect. Subtraction moves to the right. Stretch factors work the same way. The values in the middle column are for half of x. To work backward to the x, we need to double. This makes the graph twice as wide, not twice as narrow. To illustrate the reflection, we'll use a different function, the square root function. When working backward to find the x values, the x values change sign, thereby making the graph point to the left rather than to the right. To recap, addition will shift the graph, multiplication will stretch, and negative signs will flip. If the effect is performed inside the function to the x, the change will be left and right. If outside the function, the change will be in the y direction, up and down. Vertical changes go in the anticipated direction. Addition will shift the graph up. Multiplication will make the graph taller. In the x direction, we work backward, so the effects are counterintuitive. Addition will move left, not right. Multiplication will make the graph thinner, not wider. Here are two examples. See if you can sketch the graph, including identifying where the key points will move. In this first example, what two changes need to be made to the graph of the exponential function to get the graph of g of x equal to 3e to the negative x? The negative sign is on the x, so the graph will be flipped left to right so that the asymptote now points toward the positive side of the x-axis. The graph is also 3 times taller, so the point at 0, 1 is now stretched to 0, 3. Here is a second example. 
When considering the vertical changes, it is best to perform the changes in the order you would perform the calculations. If given an x value, you would first add 2 inside the parentheses, so make this change first. Then, after the log function is applied, the negative sign is placed in front, so perform that change next. Finally, perform the change caused by the plus 3 at the end. The red graph should be shifted 2 to the left, then flipped upside down, then lifted upward by 3.